Yeah, I mean, someone's taking video of my store, I'd kind of like to know why. How's it going, guys? Watching the Watchman here, out with Amagansett Press, here in Gulfport, Mississippi. And today we're at Pav and Broom Fine Jewelry. As usual, we're going to take some video here on the public sidewalk and see if the folks respect our First Amendment right to do so. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes. It was actually our first time ever being in Mississippi, uh, so that should be interesting. We've only had experience with one other jewelry store. Uh, we weren't even trying to do a YouTube video. We were just hanging out. First time uh, me, AP and Mrs. AP ever went to uh, Santa Fe, and we were walking around downtown Santa Fe, and uh, ended up getting tried to get chased off the public sidewalk by the security at a jewelry store. Uh, because we're taking some pictures of their display. So uh, that video is up. I'll leave a link in the description. That was a while ago. Uh, but it should be interesting to see how this goes. So here's the uh, Gulfport Water Tower. I'll try to get a closer look at that for you. How you making out there, Watchman? What's up? What's happening? Someone's taking video of my store, I'd kind of like to know why. Well, I'm just curious. I got you, but I'm working with daylight and I got to do what I do before the, okay. before the sun runs out on me. I appreciate it. You appreciate it, man. You have the right to take video in public, and there is no clause that says only if you explain yourself to people. You know, you don't have to uh, tell everybody exactly what you're doing just to exercise your rights. So that's, you know, one of the points we try to get across. And uh, AP was being polite to the guy, just saying, you know, uh, taking some video and in the middle of something, can't really get into it right now. Yeah, guys, and uh, another thing is um, any of you have ever worked in any type of pro photography or video, you know, anything commercial or anything, um, you know, the light changes fast. You might have noticed the light changing in this video already a couple times when clouds go by and stuff. And, uh, you know, they have no way of knowing whether or not we're working on something where that matters and we're waiting for a specific light and then they interrupt us and it messes up our shot. So. It's a consideration when you go up to someone who's taking pictures or video, you know, they might be uh, waiting for the perfect moment and if you come distract them, they could uh, mess up what they're doing. So, you know, if they say I'm in the middle of something, I can't get into it right now. People should just respect that, especially on a public sidewalk. We're not doing anything wrong. So, And so far, so good. Uh, the one lady came out and I, I didn't really hear exactly what happened, but uh, just seemed like she was wondering what's going on. And uh, the other guy came out and he kind of had an attitude like if he asks us what we're doing, we have to answer him, which we don't. And uh, he didn't really uh, escalate anything. He just realized we weren't going to answer and went back inside. So. It's hard to see that Rolex sign from down here. It is. Hope you guys uh, got a shot of that. I tried to lift yeah, up my uh, monopod.
Thank you, Bob. See, that was a normal guy. This gentleman in the blue shirt uh, that's walking down the sidewalk here saw that I was filming, walked, uh, went out of his way to walk behind me as not to get into the shot. And uh, polite guy said, how you doing? I said, how you doing back? You know, that's how people should respond to a camera out in public. Uh, but, you know, too often uh, do people have a fit over uh, cameras in public uh, when they should just respond like that guy and go about your own day, you know? If I saw someone filming something in public, I wouldn't try to go uh, demand answers or stop them from doing what they're doing. I go about my own business, so glad to see people doing that. How's it going? Hey buddy, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Where's your pop? Hey, my gas and Chris. I went to go talk to him. I love you guys. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. So this guy uh, recognized us, watches our channels. I just told them and explained what you're doing and what, what a good thing I think it is. Right on. So, well, so what do you, uh, if you don't mind me asking, <laughs> no. do, you, uh, do you watch our channels? Yeah, I watch just about every video you ever done. And you watch <laughs> other auditors too? Yeah, I watch other Right on. Cool. Well, we appreciate that. That means that you're yeah. keyed into what's going on. Sure. You yeah. appreciate and value your rights. Yeah. And uh, you're probably interested in uh, exercising your life. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Well, right on. I can't believe you made it to go for it. Yeah, man, well, we're, we're, we're on a mission to hit all 50 states. I seen man. you were in New Orleans the other day. Yes, sir. Doing the Audi dealership over there. Yep. <laughs> oh, what's your that first was, name? Oh, I'm Mark. Mark, Jason. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Jason. Appreciate you. Hey. Right on. I, I love Appreciate what you're doing. You. All right, Keep man. Well, you have a good day. Video, uh, Thank you. Hopefully they're still open. We'll say. Yeah. Let's say hello now that we know they know who we are. So now everybody knows what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> the jig is up, right? Right. So I just wanted to, I didn't want to leave you guys. More. I was hoping that the gentleman that came out explained to you what we were doing. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if any of the rest of you watch what we do. Um, I may have watched a couple videos, but yeah, not, not enough to recognize. recognize. Very cool. Yeah. Well, my name is Jason. Okay. Nice to meet this you. This is my son, Ben. Ben, nice, nice to, meet to meet you guys. Cool. And uh, we've driven over 52,000 miles in the past two years defending our Constitution. Huh, wow. That's what we do. Did you? Y'all gave us some excitement. Cool. That was awesome. Right on. Yeah. I'm like, Dana, what are they doing? And I'm like, are they following us? Yeah. No, so I just want to come in if you guys have any questions, any wondering why we're doing what we're doing, or I'm happy to explain why it to you. Why do you do it? So, rights are like muscles. Right. If you don't exercise them, they either get taken away from you or go away. We all agree, right? I think, here. Just explaining yeah. what we're doing here. Yeah. I got it. I'm, I'm glad to see the smile on your face. No, no y'all ain't doing nothing malicious. No, That's all I, I just can't get myself up when you first came out no. because I'm trying to get totally. an organic response <laughs> from totally you. Totally understand, man. So, totally so I'll just understand. explain this, young lady. What we do, we've driven 52,000 miles in the past two years defending the Constitution of the United okay. States. That's what we do. Awesome. Yep. I so, very cool. Thank you. The reason we do it this way is. First Amendment is freedom of the press, mm -hmm. right? Obviously, they didn't have video cameras back then. No. But we have a right to go out in public, any place that we're allowed to be in public that's not a restricted area. You were, we're very careful not to get on our property. Right, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And we are allowed to gather information to disseminate to the public, which is activity of the press. I got you. So that's what we do. We're operating under a First Amendment protection. And uh, we do this because we feel like the Constitution is taking a proverbial ass whooping these days. Excuse my uh, French. I agree. And we're not very happy about it. I have a long history in video and photography as a career. Okay. So that's why we chose this as our venue. Okay. What to do. You know, you got to go out and exercise. Your, if you're not doing something about it, then who do you have to be upset with, you know? That's true. Uh, I agree. Yeah. yeah. So we just try to be proactive, and we're out there trying to have these conversations. We love it. But, you know, I don't want to waste resources and create problems, but we love it when people call law enforcement. Yeah. 
because then it gives us the opportunity to have this conversation with law enforcement. We've planted a lot of seeds. We're gotcha. hoping some of them grow. We consider ourselves the Johnny Appleseeds of the Constitution. <laughs> we're trying to plant seeds all over. A lot of them die in the street, man, but we're hoping a few of them take root. And... Well, we were figuring there's definitely some money in them rigs you've got. <laughs> yeah, we just upgraded. Yeah, yeah. We just upgraded about a month ago. Yeah. Well, you got, you got nothing, I, nothing to impress with my camera, but you got in here. That's for sure. But, uh, no, so that's why we do it. I, got I, didn't, I just didn't want to leave you. No, I appreciate that, like too. I was being rude and disrespectful. Because that's no. not my Once I got to one, I was like, they ain't doing nothing wrong. Right. Well, they they're they're nice to me. But, then, like, I'm not but <laughs> if you knew the people we had to run off, you'd, you'd understand why. Oh, well, if you knew the people I've dealt with, I'm, well, you'd understand why I don't want to get into a conversation. Sometimes you're inviting disaster gotcha. upon yourself. You know? I got gotcha. you. People come out all friendly. Hey, support what you're doing. They don't even know what we're doing. And then as soon as I start explaining it to them, they get mad at you, they call the police, throw things, and we got a mess. Oh, wow. But I think we're fighting a worthy yeah. cause. Yeah. Keep it up, though. Um, we yeah. get to meet Double wonderful people like yourselves. I appreciate it. We get to meet, you know, we do have some very good law enforcement in this country. We also have some pretty terrible law enforcement yeah. in this country. Oh, so we like to salute and congratulate the good guys. We support the law enforcement. And we like to catch the bad guys and expose the headline. Gotcha. And we always ask law enforcement a question at the end when I have a conversation with them. I don't know if you've ever watched any of our videos. I, they, they, I don't watch a whole lot of any videos when I well, go home. Start. I need those subs, man. No. <laughs> so my question to law enforcement always is, what do you think a good police officer's worst enemy is? You want to take a stab at it? Uh, I guess you could say the truth. Well, that's, you know, that's interesting. We could have a conversation about that for a while. But no, my answer is a good police officer's worst enemy is a bad cop. That's right. Oh, yeah, because yeah. it only takes one. Well, yeah. to get you the get rest pulled of over bad. today, bad cop runs you through the ringer, abuses your rights, treats you like garbage, right? It gives you a bad impression. Six months from now, you get pulled over again. You're already half cocked, ready to go after this guy because of the last experience. Yeah. So, the problem is a lot of people, when they do get pulled over, need to understand it's their fault in the first place. Not always. But normally. Well, that's a whole other discussion yeah. we could have forever. Did you ever sue that cop that grabbed you by the wrist and took you? <laughs> that was the sheriff. The sheriff. He was yeah, the he was the sheriff. sheriff. Do you get scared? Um, I did like, I get scared? Do you, yeah, do you yeah, get scared? You know why I don't get scared? That's why? a very good question. The reason I don't get scared is because I know I'm not doing anything wrong. Gotcha. You only have something to worry about if you're doing something wrong. I got you. you know? well, without, without giving away, where, where were, what direction are y'all headed next? Oh, we're heading east. East? east? Okay. We're heading to Florida. All right. Well, I have to, I have to watch out for you on that. Yeah, is well, well this is our last day here, so you won't see us again. Oh, okay. But, but you know, check out the channel. If you're into your rights and uh, you like the freedoms that you have in this country and you want your children to grow up with those same freedoms, we all need to get very proactive and do something about it. Did you hit the post office or anything here? No, <laughs> we're trying to mix it up a little bit. To mix it up a little bit. <laughs> you know what, the post, I think the post office has gotten the memo. It's kind of play. Yeah. No, well, they did. They got the memo. The official report. We got a memo nice federal that, building right around. Well, you know, yeah. <laughs> that one is... No, we've done, we've done FBI buildings. I got chased around El Paso by the FBI for about 45 minutes and then pulled over by local PD. Just wanted my name. God, yeah. That's crazy. Well, you know, well, you know, your rights, the Constitution, right? First Amendment does not protect nice, happy, what's the weather speech. Yeah. It's about controversial speech. It's about being able to be free and do what you want to do. As long as you're not harming anybody else, why shouldn't you be? Why shouldn't you be allowed to do whatever you want to do as long as you're not making a victim out of anybody else? Right? Yeah, absolutely. But they're they're conditioning us to start losing that. You know, us yeah. guys that are a little bit older, I'll point to him in the middle because of the white beard there. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, you, you remember a different time. Oh, yeah. And it's like the frog yeah. in the pot. The you know that story, right? Right. That one might be so, me too. Fro frogs Eats in a pot up. of cold water, somebody turns a flame on underneath oh, okay. it. Okay. Yes. The water starts warming up. Fox says, oh, that feels good. It's warming up a little bit. It feels better. And before you know it, he's born from cooking to death. Yeah. Right? So right, don't like be a frog right. in the pot. You don't use them when they go away. <laughs> That's exactly right. If you don't use them, they go away. You don't wear a mask anywhere y'all go? No. No. <laughs> no, I don't do any of that. No, I never have. We only wear them out of respect to certain customers, but as far as because we feel the need to, I don't. Well, business is business, and you got to yeah. make that safe. Exactly. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. But, you know, I work for myself. So, Dang, it's my way or the highway. I'm, I'm not selling you. anything. Yeah, but uh, no, that's the way it is, man. We just we hope you guys uh, appreciate. I can oh, tell yeah. by your smile. You know, I, yeah. And, so, and, and, and it's difficult to wrap your head around sometimes for people because they'll be like, yeah, but how does you harassing people turn into my rights? It's a shame that your rights are seen as harassment yeah. these days. That's the point. I didn't feel harassed. Kind of just invaded a little bit. You know, 
And you know what? That that comes from you not knowing why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I'm yeah. 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 going to blast right. us on YouTube. Like well, we made someone yeah, we, we've had a deal. There's like, been so much. <laughs> we, if y'all keep any eye on it, one of the big things is everybody says that you know we're holding Ro Rolex watches from customers or hold you know back stock, and we're not. We have one. Okay. And that's one thing we're at them looking for is someone saying, you know, this is another one, you know, they're trying to control the market, stuff like that. Right. Well, Rolex does that on their own. Literally because of supply. Right. The supply is not there. No. Nope. It helps the demand, but they can't meet the supply. And they're not going, just the, one of the things they actually addressed was they're not going to increase supply to meet demand. Because when you try to do that, you sacrifice quality. Of course. So they're, actually, it's worked out great for us. I got a buddy that just ordered a brand new MacBook that's just come out, and he's not getting it for two months. Right. So it's not just Rolexes. I mean, it's yeah. everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. If anybody has, if you got something stuff. sitting on the shelf, there's a problem. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. yeah. Wow. No, it's a mad world we live in, but, you know, it's like they said, I'm going to butcher the quote. I don't even remember who said it, and I'm not trying to pretend I do. But the fault doesn't lie with the people that are doing what they're doing. It lies with all of us who stand by idly and do yeah. nothing about it. So yeah. I do remember that. Quote. Stand up for your rights, man. I encourage you to, if you can find a way to do it that doesn't put you in harm's way or in a position yeah. you don't want to be in, I encourage you to find that way and do that. Very because cool. we, I believe we all probably have kids. Oh okay. yeah. Or are somebody's or, kids, or, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Right. So eventually you will. are the kids. Yeah. You, know, so. you might one day. You don't, you don't want them to grow up in a horrible world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, You're you don't right. you don't remember how things used to be, and I always say to people, it wasn't that it was a paradise. The world had its problems back then, just like it always has. But this is a little something special. What's going on these days? So that's all it is. I gotta get back to work. I appreciate it. It's nice sir. meeting y'all. Thank you very much. Good to meet Glad you. What y'all doing? Appreciate Keep you. it up. Thank you. Y'all be safe. Too, man. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to the first time. I can't believe you guys are here. Yeah. That's our newest member, right? I've been there. watching you guys for years. You know. Right on. Oh yeah. Like, uh, yeah, he came out and like me right out my hero. video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I had to come in and make it a good positive video. I know, everybody video. was like, this, this guy's one of my heroes, him. really. I mean, because he's out there making a difference. I appreciate that. Really that that humbles me. Oh, it matters. So. Yeah. Thanks, oh, well, and you know what? It's also just a lesson in life for all of us. Sometimes what something looks like isn't what it is. So yeah. Always, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to preach to the choir here, but keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, stay vigilant. Analyze everything. Yeah. Don't ever just jump to assume you know what's going on because you're cutting yourself off from information. Yes. Yeah. So that's it. Thank you. I'll leave while everybody's still smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Appreciate you. Thank you. You too. All right, guys. Some friendly, nice people here in Mississippi with no issues with the camera. Um, you know, this video went very interesting. Uh, can't say we have any other videos that really compare, but everything happens the way it happens, and, uh, you know, we don't manipulate anything. So, it's very cool to see the Pav and Broom here uh, respected our rights. You know, they asked us what we were doing before they knew and uh, didn't give us a hard time after that. Then the one guy that works here, I think he said his name was Mark. Uh, shout out to him. He really uh, likes what we do, and we appreciate him. And, uh, you know, he knew what we were doing. He came out and then we went in and uh, explained what we were doing. It seemed like everybody was in support and it's great to see. So th this is how a an audit at a private business should go. This is a great video, uh, complete opposite of the Audi dealership we were just at where the guy made a fool of himself. These people made themselves look very good. And, uh, you know, maybe some of you guys will come do business here if you're ever in the area. Uh, not so much at the Audi dealer, but uh, maybe Logan from the Audi dealer could take a lesson from this. But uh, contact info is always in the description if you guys want to call up and let these no people know you appreciate them handling the situation this way. And uh, speaking of the description, I always recommend you guys check that out. Uh, lots of good information in the description on all my videos. If you like this video and you appreciate what we do and you want to see more of these videos, uh, make sure you check out my other social media, subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Let's get to 100,000 by the end of the year. We're crushing it. We're almost there. We're at like 93 right now. Appreciate all you guys so much. And uh, turn on notifications. All that stuff really helps. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. Watching The Watchman, out.